2018 Kia Sportage finishes in the top third of our compact SUV rankings. On the inside, this SUV has just about everything you could want, but there are some powertrain issues that keep the Sportage from ranking among the elite vehicles in the class. There are many reasons to like the Sportage, but it's not a perfect vehicle. There are several vehicles in the compact SUV class worth buying. The Hyundai Tucson and Mazda CX-5, for example, are great alternatives. The Tucson is comparable to the Sportage in most respects, and it gets better gas mileage than the Sportage. The CX-5 has a quality interior, like its key rival, but it delivers a much more enjoyable driving experience. Compare the Sportage, Tucson, and CX-5, US News Best Cars has been ranking cars, trucks, and SUVs for a decade, and our team has more than 75 years of combined experience in the automotive industry. To ensure that our reviews are objective, our editorial staff doesn't accept expensive gifts or trips from automakers, and a third party handles all advertising on our site. The 2018 Kia Sportage delivers a cushioned ride and is one of the more agile vehicles in the class. However, both engine options are underwhelming, and fuel economy lags many competitors. The Sportage comes standard with a 2.4 litre four cylinder engine that puts out 181 horsepower. It's mated to a six-speed automatic transmission. This engine has enough power for driving around town, but it lacks the requisite muscle for confident highway driving. A turbocharged 2.0-litre four-cylinder engine is available. It produces 240 horsepower, 237 in all-wheel drive models, which is more than almost any engine offered by class rivals. But despite being one of the strongest engines in the class, the turbo four still feels sluggish. Lackluster engines might be forgiven if you're trading power for fuel economy, but that's not the case here. The Sportage gets an EPA estimated 22 miles per gallon in the city and 29 miles per gallon on the highway, below average ratings for the class. The turbocharged engine's ratings are a few ticks worse, earning just 21 miles per gallon in the city and 26 miles per gallon on the highway. Handling and braking, this gear comes standard with front wheel drive, and all wheel drive is available. Ride quality is good, and road imperfections are absorbed with these. The Sportage has sharp steering and sturdy brakes, and there isn't much body roll when you take turns. This is one of the more agile compact SUVs, though it's still a step behind the Mazda CX-5 and Ford Escape. The 2018 Kia Sportage has one of the nicest interiors in the class. The cabin is quiet and looks upscale, and the materials would be right at home in a luxury vehicle. There are two rows of spacious, comfortable seats and plenty of available tech features. The cargo hold is smaller than many competitors, but that's about the only negative here. Seating, the Kia Sportage seats 5 and comes standard with cloth upholstery. Leather upholstery, power adjustable front seats, heated front seats, ventilated front seats, heated rear seats, and a heated steering wheel are available. The Sportage's front seats are roomy and comfortable, and driver visibility is good. The rear seats are more spacious than in many competitors and have enough head and legroom for tall passengers to ride comfortably. The rear seats also recline, which is a rare feature among compact SUVs. Interior features, the Sportage has two full sets of latch connectors for installing car seats. The system is easy to use overall, and the tether anchors are easy to find. However, the lower anchors are set a little too deep in the seat. Standard features in the 2017 Kia Sportage include a rear-view camera and a 5-inch touchscreen infotainment system with 6 speakers, satellite radio, Bluetooth, and a USB port. Cargo, the Sportage is available with a lot of features, more than many class rivals offer. Handy smartphone connectivity features like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are nice, but the available touchscreen infotainment systems are the highlight because they're so easy to use. The touch screens respond quickly to inputs and are slightly angled toward the driver so they are easier to see. There are physical controls for some audio and climate functions as well.